It's been a while since the Brewery Guild took care of Dead Black in the Eisen Kingdom. It had been a while, and they didn't realize there was a particular person around town who needed their help. Unfortunately, life of a dragon hunter is very busy. They can't find everyone, can't help everyone. So what happens in times like those? Do those people just go on without help? No. As many know, there are a number of guilds around. Though they go pretty unsung, their tales are just as important for the safety of the world. There's guilds out there that focus on helping little guys. And today, we're going back in time to see one such guild. A duo of adventurers in the Goggles Guild, Megane and Shades. The events that transpire in this episode happen before defeating the Imperial Dragon, Dead Black. Hello, welcome back. I can't remember if Dead Black was the name of this Imperial. Uh, but I think that's one of his names. Dead Black, Night Black, Dead something, Dead Knight, Dead Moon Knight. Uh, so today, slightly different episode. Here we are, a whole new file. Arts, culture, science, cause I cannot even be compared to Aizen. Study well along tradition and merit of Aizen culture. You know, as as proof that this is this is an old file, straight up. Uh, let's let's go out of town. Let's go out of town and see what the world map's looking like. You know what I mean? It's real different. It's real empty. Uh, nothing's orange. Nothing's traversed. So I thought about the whole singular quest in the entire game that is you know limited time that I happen to miss, and I thought about it. I was like, okay, you know what? This point in the game. Would not take long if I just power level through it. You know what I mean? So I realized that. And I was like, okay, let me let me let me get up a uh, let me get a save state. Let me get a save state. Start a new file. Run up to this point. Took me it says I've been playing for about two hours. Yeah, it, it, I guess it did take me about that long. Hmm. Being that was a turbo mode, power level, all that. So it definitely does take some time to get here normally. Uh, we are here to complete the singular quest that we were not able to. The Empress's grief. So, to get here, you have to find a secret room in the throne room, which is right over here. You see that little patch of a floor here? You go down here, come over here. Would not have found this room if I didn't know. It is I, the first Empress of Eisen, the world's greatest woman. Wow, oh, oh, oh. whatever you desire, I already possess. Oh, you're so dirty. Steer where you are, you filthy things. What? Hunters, you look more like beggars. All right, Cinderella-ass room. A little dazzling luxury filled this top with dazzling decorations. If he continues on at this rate, eyes will be. I cannot say it. Nay, I shan't say. Empress of Grief, quest available. There is a better way. So, all right, let's see what exactly is up. This quest is very time sensitive, so it must be something it has to do with Invisible itself. Let's go to the quest office. These two have not completed a single quest. These two just go on a world tour. They don't really, uh, <laughs> maybe they do help people, but you know, in the end, I haven't done a single quest except for the three required ones. So I don't care who hears this, please help. You get a true orb for this. And yeah, if you remember, for Dead Black, uh, we actually bought an orb from the merchant down here at the bottom left of town. Let me go here right quick. I wonder if they're still, yeah, hold on there. It's just you purchased this item from me right now. It's large and shines most magnificently. I suppose an appraiser would call it a mere glass orb. So big that it looks tacky with my decor. But you might find it useful. That was a gold's fair price, no? In truth, I didn't expect you to be able to appreciate it. See, so yeah, this person gives us an orb, which did help against Dead Black. Uh, but it seems like doing this quest will give us an even better orb, which gives us even more time for Dead Black to be weakened. Uh, you know, our guild definitely handled the, the fight without the true orb, but a quest is a quest, and I want to complete all of them in some way, shape, or form. Thank you for your cooperation in the matter, my friends. Aizen is fixed in the course of decline. If the king could truly see the current situation, perhaps it would improve. If he saw the food, his people must eat. Can you prepare him a simple meal? A simple meal is what the king must see. Not a delicacy, but a simple family eats. Please bring it to him. So to continue on with this quest, we actually have to talk to the uh, the gourmet. You know, the guy who has the three delicacies? We have to talk to that guy. Uh, yeah, I would have known to do that. <laughs> I would have gone to the, the, the uh, 
you know, the poor district and be like, okay, the low district's what they're called. Low district and be all like, hey, any of y'all, what do y'all eat? I mean, I wouldn't say give me your food. <laughs> Clearly they need it. But it's just like, I would not have thought to come here. Who do we talk to exactly? Every day's food, food, food. I can't take it anymore. Eh, cook for King Sogan himself. I would like to help, but I have duties. Ah, in Simon Village, there lives a brave mother. She taught me the art of cooking. Her skill is magnificent. Of course, a quest we've already done before. I can die happier to see in the bamboo. All right, cook for King Sogan. In Simon Village, there's a brave mother. Let's go visit her. But yeah, but, oh god, I just realized, I was like, yeah, let's get on their airship and fly over. Right. Slight problem with that. But man, just doing all the quests in this game, I can't believe that's what gave me like this newfound appreciation. I already really like this game, you know what I mean? Like, it feels, I feel kind of bad that I never played far into it, uh, way back years ago. Uh, let me see the best one, yeah. I like barely started. I hadn't even gotten to the point where the dragons invaded and that I already stopped playing. I don't think it was that I just straight up didn't like it. I think I was just a bit lost as a kid and I just, you know, had other games that I wanted to play more, I guess. It's those sort of circumstances that led to me not getting far in the game at all. Uh, but I, you know, you would think doing all these side quests, all these just, oh, fetch quests, run around, do this, do this. It's just stuff that, you know, bores you even more, but... I mean, in some cases, that is how I feel about side quests and games, but... I don't know. This game... I mean, the Seven Dragons series... You know, not, not to crap on Code VFD, but except Code VFD. I always get this feeling when I do these quests where it's like, wow, I get to know these people, you know what I mean? I don't know, Code VFD just feels... Like, totally, it's, it's very different from the first three games. I mean, you could split it off as this game... Then the duology, the 2020 duology, and then go VFD, all of their three different sort of tones in terms of uh, the games. I'm pretty sure this is who we're supposed to talk to. But yeah, let's huh, cook for the king. I don't mind doing it, but I have no supplies. As you can see, I'm not living the high life around here. Uh, let's see. Four bird legs, six frog skins, and three mushroom stems should do it. So yeah, you get these items. The, dirt, the bird legs are from the dodos in the Miros area, you know, the purple birds. The frog skins are from the froggies, which are also found in the Miros area of the world map. And three mushroom stems. The mushroom stems are found from the mushies, which are inside the nameless cave. Images have been shown. Uh, you know. Go out and do it! Go out and get those items! Yeah, let's see. Got the ingredients? Just a minute. I'll make it now. Alright, it's done. Here you go. Home cooked meal. But I don't know why the king would eat this. Uh... She doesn't know, chat. But yeah, like, the quests just feel more personal. I really, I really like the scenario quests. Like, those uh, in this game, they, I love those quests. Uh, just really nice insight into these characters that I otherwise thought, okay, we go to town, we meet these people, we, we leave. Goodbye. But I was like, whoa, whoa, what's the Queen of Miros? What are we doing? We're sneaking into town with her. We're learning about the ins and outs of what's actually going down in Miros. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. I really like that, because, uh, you know, this is a game made in 2009, and you know, it's a world traveling RPG where you bring a bunch of blank slate characters to destroy a bunch of dragons. So, you know, I figured, okay, well, you know, I guess NPCs and all that isn't that important when the main part of the game is just to fight. But no, they really do give them some character. And then, especially when you get the Arietta quest done, she gives you all those little, like, pieces of information, just like, oh, hey, you know how many uh, ribbons Basoon has in his hair? All that sort of stuff. This is pretty fun. No, okay, yeah, we got everything. Let's go. Wait, no, no, we have to go back. Well, no, we don't have to go back to the chef over here, but let me see if talking to them actually does anything different. Cook for Sogan. Okay, same stuff, same stuff. But yeah, I really like this game. Like, if I were to try to rank the Seven Dragon games, my, 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 the top time, actually. This game is huge, though, compared to the other Seven Dragon games. A lot less linear, which is something that I actually... You know, I'm in the market sometimes for non-linear exploration games like these. Uh, very specific, you know, oh, talk to this NPC at this specific time, or talk to this NPC once you defeated this boss, sort of stuff that I'm not gonna remember. I mean, now that I've played through the game once, I think I can remember a good amount of these quests. Uh, where to go, what enemies to fight. But yeah, I, I don't know, I really like this game, like, 
I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise, but yeah, wow, wow. What is this? What is this? What is this? Cattle feed? Such impertinence. Get out of my sight. Well, that didn't work. You want us to force feed him? Like, I, I'm not sure what the plan was here. How can this be? Not even that helped. I can only hope that he'll listen to the voice of the people directly. Please find someone. The people's voices is what we need now. If he hears from a direct appeal from them. Okay, so this one. Even more specific. We do have to talk to someone in the low district. Uh. The, you know. I don't know who exactly. But it's someone around here. But as I was saying. Fun game. Fun. Oh, wait. No. Well, okay. Uh, not that quest. Not that quest. I. Uh, Oh yeah, don't you give us like a dragon egg or something? Might be at a certain point. Yeah, I've been here a while. <laughs> yeah, I've been around. Is it you? Good. I have a lot I want to say to our king. Oh, okay. Cause like it says there's a mother around this district. I was like, okay. Your business! I was like, okay, okay, it's you. My child is dead. Dead because of no food and higher taxes. Killed by Aizen. No. Killed by the king! You! Has your belly ever been empty? Have you clung to the child of the cold? Have you wept all night with despair? We are all citizens, but the gap is so great. Wretched. So wretched. Hmm. Those who hate Aizen have no subjects of mine. Be gone! <sighs> Third Empress, this is not working. Yes, I watched that from the shadows. He said, Aizen loses all meaning in such a king. Thank you for making my naivete clear to me. Please accept the reward from the quest office. The king gave me this. It's been passed down for generations, but I cannot use it. Someone like you will find its purpose. Uh, that, that didn't help at all. <laughs> Truly, the rustic charms of those from the new lands is quite endearing. Does not the sublime culture of Aizen exceed your comprehension? We, we got no no way forward for the people of Aizen with that quest. Yeah, good thing we got the scenario quest to do. Uh, though these guys will not be taking care of that. Uh, let's get that reward though. So this gives us the true orb. I wonder if we can actually buy the, uh, I guess, fake orb still? We can, we can. Alright, so just test it out. Let's see what's around. Place blade glass orb here and no. Place the true orb? Yes. It's a hollow. Big glass orb? No. Alright, let's check out the boss while we are here. <laughs> Last thing on the menu for these two. The the non-canon path of uh, Seven Dragon TS, where these guys defeat the boss. True dead black. Ah, okay, so we got ten turns. Without its full strength. Shades! Shades, wake up! We don't have any, you know? We, we don't have any Hypno Crystals yet, buddy. Goggles beat back the Imperial Dragon Eclipse. 